to well we are going to follow a big story that we've been talking about this morning closing arguments set for today in the trial of two former Bear Stearns hedge fund managers. The first criminal case against Wall Street executives since the mortgage meltdown. Well, it's been a fast-moving trial, and in an unusual turn of events, the judge is now questioning some of the charges. Sue Keenan is joining us now live with more. Sue. Well, we are three weeks into a trial that was expected to run twice as long. The defense has rested, and Judge Frederick Block has now expressed doubts about parts of the government's case against the two fund managers. The judge is questioning the wire fraud charges against Matthew Tanin and Ralph Giaffe, and has already dismissed one specific count against Tanin and says he doesn't understand the insider trading charge against Chaffee, who allegedly moved about two million of his own personal money or a third of his investment out of the two Bear Stearns funds before their collapse in 2007. Now, both men were arrested and accused of misleading investors about the health of their funds, which imploded during the subprime crisis, costing investors $1.6 billion. In the view of one former prosecutor, for the defense to say that there are gaping holes in the government's case at this point is not unusual, but the judge's response is he's keeping open the motion of whether to dismiss all charges. Now, what has been key in the government's case is email evidence showing that the two fund managers privately had concerns about the fund's collapse, and one investor witness who says that 35 days before the fund imploded, he was told, quote, everything was fine. Now, the closing arguments are set to begin at 10 o'clock on the 10th floor. Eric, government will be up first.